morning prayer with St. James Cathedral. Today on this Tuesday, January 26th, we will be celebrating the conversion of St. Paul, which is January 25th usually, but we have transferred it. So that's what the readings will be today in the collect. We begin in the Book of Common Prayer on page 2. Wherefore, seeing we also are compassed about with so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and the sin which doth so easily beset us, and let us run with patience the race which is set before us, looking unto Jesus the author and finisher of our faith. Let us confess our sins to Almighty God. Almighty and most merciful Father, we have erred and strayed from thy ways like lost sheep. We have followed too much the devices and desires of our own hearts. We have offended against thy holy laws. We have left undone those things which we ought to have done, and we have done those things which we ought not to have done, and there is no health in us. But thou, O Lord, have mercy upon us, miserable offenders. Spare thou them, O God, which confess their faults. Restore thou them that are penitent, according to thy promises declared unto mankind in Christ Jesus our Lord. And grant, O most merciful Father, for his sake, that we may hereafter live a godly, righteous, and sober life, to the glory of thy holy name. Amen. Turning to page six. O Lord, open thou our lips, and our mouth shall show forth thy praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Praise ye the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. The Lord is glorious in his saints. O come, let us worship. Come, let us sing unto the Lord. Let us heartily rejoice in the strength of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and show ourselves glad in him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hand are all the corners of the earth and the strength of the hills is his also. The sea is his for he made it and his hands prepared the dry land. O come, let us worship and fall down, and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is the Lord our God, and we are the people of his pasture, and the sheep of his hand. Today, O oh, that ye would hear his voice. The Lord is glorious in his saints. O come, let us worship. The psalms appointed for this morning are Psalms 66 and 67, which begin on page 408 of the prayer book. O oh, be joyful in God, all ye lands. Sing praises unto the honor of his name. Make his praise to be glorious. Say unto God, O oh, how wonderful are thy works. Because of the greatness of thy power shall thine enemies feign obedience unto thee. All the world shall worship thee, sing of thee, and praise thy name. O come hither, and behold the works of God, how wonderful he is in his doing toward the children of men. He turned the sea into dry land, so that they went through the water on foot. There did we rejoice in him. He ruleth with his power forever. His eyes keep watch upon the nations. Let not such as be rebellious exalt themselves. O oh, praise our God, ye peoples, and make the voice of his praise to be heard, who holdeth our soul in life, and suffereth not our feet to slip. For thou, O oh God, hast proved us, thou also hast tried us, like as silver is tried. Thou didst bring us into the snare, and didst lay trouble upon our loins. Thou didst suffer men to ride over our heads. We went through fire and water, but thou didst bring us out into a place of freedom. I will go into thine house with burnt offerings. I will pay thee my vows, which I promised with my lips and spake with my mouth when I was in trouble. I will offer unto thee fat burnt sacrifices with the incense of rams. I will offer bullocks and goats. O come hither and hearken, all ye that fear God, and I will tell you what he hath done for my soul. 
I called unto him with my mouth and gave him praises with my tongue. If I had regarded wickedness in my heart, the Lord would not have heard me. But verily God hath heard me and considered the voice of my prayer. Praised be God, who hath not cast out my prayer, nor turned his mercy from me. Psalm 67. God be merciful unto us and bless us, and show us the light of his countenance, and be merciful unto us. That thy way may be known upon earth, thy saving health among all nations. Let the people praise thee, O God, yea, let all the people praise thee. O let the nations rejoice and be glad, for thou shalt judge the folk righteously and govern the nations upon earth. Let the people praise thee, O God, yea, let all the people praise thee. The earth hath brought forth her increase, and God, even our own God, shall give us his blessing. God shall bless us, and all the ends of the world shall fear him. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be. Amen. Our first reading today is found in the prophet Jeremiah, chapter 1, beginning at the fourth verse. Now the word of the Lord came to me, saying, Before I formed you in the womb, I knew you, and before you were born, I consecrated you. I appointed you a prophet to the nations. Then I said, Ah, Lord God, truly I do not know how to speak, for I am only a boy. But the Lord said to me, Do not say I am only a boy, for you shall go to all to whom I send you, and you shall speak whatever I command you. Do not be afraid of them, for I am with you to deliver you, says the Lord. Then the Lord put out his hand and touched my mouth, and the Lord said to me, Now I have put my words in your mouth. See, today I appoint you over nations and over kingdoms, to pluck up and to pull down, to destroy and to overthrow to build, and to plant. Here endeth the lesson. Let's say together the first two sections of the Te Deum, which begin on page seven. We praise thee, O God. We acknowledge thee to be the Lord. All the earth doth worship thee, the Father everlasting. To thee all angels cry aloud, the heavens and all the powers therein. To thee, cherubim and seraphim continually do cry, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of the majesty of thy glory. The glorious company of the apostles praise thee. The goodly fellowship of the prophets praise thee. The noble army of martyrs praise thee. The holy church throughout all the world doth acknowledge thee, the father of an infinite majesty, thine honorable, true, and only son also the Holy Ghost, the Comforter. Thou art the King of glory, O Christ. Thou art the everlasting Son of the Father. When thou tookest upon thee to deliver man, thou didst not abhor the virgin's womb. When thou hadst overcome the sharpness of death, thou didst open the kingdom of heaven to all believers. Thou sittest at the right hand of God in the glory of the Father. We believe that thou shalt come to be our judge. We therefore pray thee, help thy servants, whom thou hast redeemed with thy precious blood. Make them to be numbered with thy saints in glory everlasting. Amen. The second reading this morning is found in Galatians, beginning at verse 11. Chapter 1, verse 11. For I want you to know, brothers and sisters, that the gospel that was proclaimed by me is not of human origin. For I did not receive it from a human source, nor was I taught it, but I received it through a revelation of Jesus Christ. You have heard, no doubt, of my earlier life in Judaism. I was violently persecuting the church of God and was trying to destroy it. I advanced in Judaism beyond many among my people of the same age, for I was far more zealous from the, for the traditions of my ancestors. But when God, who had set me apart before I was born and called me through his grace, was pleased to reveal his son to me so that I might proclaim him among the Gentiles, I did not confer with any human being, 
nor did I go up to Jerusalem to those who were already apostles before me. But I went away at once into Arabia, and afterwards I returned to Damascus. But after three years I did go up to Jerusalem to visit Cephas, and stayed with him fifteen days. But I did not see any other apostle except James, the Lord's brother. In what I am writing to you before God, I do not lie. Then I went into the regions of Syria and Cilicia, and I was still unknown by sight to the churches of Judea that are in Christ. They only heard it said, the one who formerly was persecuting us is now proclaiming the faith he once tried to destroy. And they glorified God because of me. Here endeth the lesson. Let's say together the Benedictus, which begins on page nine. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, for he hath visited and redeemed his people, and hath raised up a mighty salvation for us in the house of his servant David, as he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, which have been since the world began, that we should be saved from our enemies and from the hands of all that hate us, to perform the mercy promised to our forefathers, and to remember his holy covenant, to perform the oath which he sware to our forefather Abraham, that he would grant us, that we, being delivered out of the hands of our enemies, might serve him without fear, in holiness and righteousness before him all the days of our life. And thou, child, child, shall be called the prophet of the highest, for thou shalt go before the face of the Lord to prepare his ways, to give knowledge of salvation unto his people for the remission of their sins. Through the tender mercy of our God, whereby the day spring from on high hath visited us, to give light to them that sit in darkness and in the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Confessing our faith, let us say the Apostles' Creed together. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sitteth on the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. O Lord, show thy mercy upon us, and grant us thy salvation. O Lord, save the Queen, and mercifully hear us when we call upon thee. And do thy ministers with righteousness, and make thy chosen people joyful. O Lord, save thy people and bless thine inheritance. Give peace in our time, O Lord, and evermore mightily defend us. O God, make clean our hearts within us, and take not thy Holy Spirit from us. O God, who through the preaching of the blessed apostle St. Paul, hast caused the light of the gospel to shine throughout the world, grant we beseech thee that we, having his wonderful conversion and remembrance, may show forth our thankfulness unto thee for the same, by following the holy doctrine which he taught, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O God, who art the author of peace and lover of concord, in knowledge of whom standeth our eternal life, whose service is perfect freedom, defend us, thy humble servants, in all assaults of our enemies, that we, surely trusting in thy defense, may not fear the power of any adversaries, through the might of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. 
O Lord, our Heavenly Father, almighty and everlasting God, who has safely brought us to the beginning of this day, defend us in the same with thy mighty power, and grant that this day we fall into no sin, neither run into any kind of danger, but that all our doings may be ordered by thy governance, to do always that is righteous in thy sight. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, the fountain of all goodness, we humbly beseech thee to bless our sovereign lady, Queen Elizabeth, the parliaments of the Commonwealth, and all who are set in authority under her, that they may order all things in wisdom, righteousness, and peace to the honor of thy holy name and the good of thy church and people. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Almighty and everlasting God, from whom cometh every good and perfect gift, send down upon our bishops and clergy and all congregations committed to their charge the healthful spirit of thy grace, and that they may truly please thee, pour upon them the continual dew of thy blessing. Grant this, O Lord, for the honor of our advocate and mediator, Jesus Christ. Amen. Today we remember especially those folks in our community who are sick, or those who are beloved of us, who are ill or at the point of death. We pray for wisdom for leaders um, in our communities and in our nation as they make decisions that have such great impact on, on each of us. We pray for the poor and the vulnerable. We pray for the spirit of patience and endurance as we all suffer through this pandemic. Praying especially for those who are at greater risk and in situations of that aren't safe. Gathering our prayers and praises into one, let's say together the prayer of St. Chrysostom, found on page 15. Almighty God, who hast given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplications unto thee, and dost promise that when two or three are gathered together in thy name, thou wilt grant their requests. Fulfill now, O Lord, the desires and petitions of thy servants as, most, as may be most expedient for them granting us in this world knowledge of thy truth, and in the world to come, life everlasting. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. Peace of Christ.